I mean, are you serious? Are you serious? I told you, asteroids, 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 asteroids. They're coming, they're flying by, they're increasing. <coughs> We've been talking about this for some time. Remember BP Earthwatch talked about Comet Ison? It was in the news, Comet Elenin, Comet Lovejoy, Comet Inky, Stinky. They just keep whizzing by us. I mean, here's the deal, guys. Now NASA is saying that the, the increased number of asteroids are intensifying so much, we are going to be hit, period. Quit saying, well, don't worry, I've heard this all my life. Trust me, we're going to have a deep, 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 can I just talk to you guys over here? Just look, look at me. Listen to what I'm trying to tell you. The scripture says it. We're going to have a deep, deep, deep impact. And I can't change that. Uh, it's just the reality. Here's what they're saying on Yahoo just today. An article just posted on Yahoo. An asteroid is definitely going to hit the earth, according to experts that are warning. Matter of fact, space is a dangerous place to be. And since the earth is in space, everything on the planet is at risk, of course, eventually of feeling uh, the wrath. Well, let me just say this. Biblically, I guarantee you the earth is going to feel the wrath. But it's the wrath of God. And if God wants to use asteroids to help bring about his judgment upon the earth, he will. Matter of fact, he will. Let's just go to the book of Revelation. In the eighth chapter of the book of Revelation, it talks about two deep impacts. Let me explain this to you. Now, oh, by the way, tomorrow we got an asteroid, a huge asteroid. It's going to go whizzing by the earth. It's not going to hit us, but it's gigantic. This thing is, uh, is just unbelievable. It's asteroid 441987. Now, it's 750 feet in diameter, so it's a giant. And as it goes by, uh, you know, you might feel a summer breeze. But don't worry, it's not going to hit us. But eventually, what does the Bible say? Well, in the book of Revelation, chapter 8, verse 8, And the second angel sounded as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea. And the third part of the sea became blood. And a third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died. And a third part of the ships were destroyed. And a third angel. So the, all right, so that's a deep impact. This thing is going to hit the sea. It's like a great mountain burning. It's going to wipe out a third of the ships in the ocean. It's going to kill about a third of the fish in the sea. It's going to wipe out probably a third of the population, possibly. It's going to certainly be a cataclysmic catastrophic event. Now, back in 1908, we had a uh, asteroid, small asteroid hit in Siberia that literally leveled, I mean, thousands of acres of trees. The aftershock was just insane. Uh, we know just in 2013, we had this little dinky meteorite that exploded. And uh, it, over where? Again, in Siberia, Russia, just so happened. And what happened? Well, it damaged 1,500 buildings and uh, injured over 1,100 people. Uh, get this. So we're going to have two deep impacts. You got the first impact. It's definitely hitting the sea. But the second impact, I believe, must be hitting the earth, um, hitting land. Because it says, And a third angel sounded, there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp, and it fell upon a third part of the rivers, and upon the fountains of waters, and the name of the star is called wormwood, or poisonous water, or radiation, okay? Now, some people, of course, the, the word wormwood is not only in your Bible here in Revelation 8, but it's in the book of Job. It talks about wormwood and judgment, okay? So, we're, we're finding out that uh, the word of the Lord is being confirmed of this event that is coming. Uh, this star is called Wormwood. The third part of the waters will become Wormwood or bitter. Many men died of the waters because they were made bitter or poisonous. No doubt it's radiation. So what we're dealing with here is a 
two specific deep impacts, the wrath of God. Now, let me just say right now, for the Lord hasn't given us the spirit of fear, but of love and power and a sound mind. But if we ignore these scriptures, if we say that revelation is already over with, that it's all over with, we're moving on, are you serious? There's tons of scriptures here that have yet to be fulfilled, but are approaching rapidly. And even science is now confirming the very situation that we see taking place. We're living in a time that the Bible said would come, that these things that are written in the word are going to come to pass. Matter of fact, Jesus said these words, there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea, the waves roaring and men's hearts would fail them for fear for looking after those things coming upon the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to come to pass, he said, look up, lift up your head for your redemption is drawing nigh. So what's coming upon the earth will cause some men will, to fall dead in fear, but will cause other men to rejoice in redemption in Christ Jesus. The question is, which one are you? Don't miss today's live broadcast. Starts at 12 noon Eastern. We're going to be, of course, we're working out all the bugs here at the brand new Salvation Station studio. And, uh, and that means all the bugs, everything, sound, lighting, um, aesthetics, everything, okay? So help us as we work together. Let's get this message of the coming of Jesus Christ to the world. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're living in the last days. God bless.